Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, welcome you back to Lovecraft Country and Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the first supporter-enabled episode of this month. As you may or may not know, the supporter's stretch goal currently has me doing two bonus episodes per month, content of which is voted on by the supporters. And this month we're doing Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which is the interquel, I love that word, you don't get to use it often, this story between Alan Wake and Control, because there are, of course, within what's called the Remedyverse, and it deals with a sort of, let's we'll call it fluid reality situation that the, the games are set on. In any case, Alan Wake was the main character of the first one and, member, and in the main focus of a DLC in Control. In the DLC in Control, he's trying to, well, shall we say, come back to the reality, as it were. I won't go into much more than that, because, of course, both Alan Wake and Control are spoilers for the original Alan Wake. And if you want to see my take on Alan Wake, and it's my absolute first series, forgive me for my amateurness, if you watch it, because I'll put a link up there on the right if you want to watch it, the, and the first series for Lovecraft Country actually came before, just before... Um, Secret World, which is the other one I used to be known for until I came to the end of it. But in any case, back to where we are now, this is, well, at this point, I have to declare spoilers. I can't go any further into the plot of the upcoming of this upcoming game. In you're not aware of the Alan Wake story, check out that link I just posted. You can see my version. You can see somebody else's version. You can, and I highly suggest this, play the game yourself before and, and come back here to see us. But if you have seen Alan Wake and you're aware of the story, Let's uh, get on with it, shall we? Okay, so Alan Wake is, we know in control that Alan Wake has spent 10 years in the dark place, basically the extra dimensional void beyond all creation outside of the um, Gnostic trap that humanity finds itself in in this world. So the problem is, is that the dark presence is trying to corrupt him, trying to control him, trying to make an evil clone of him, basically trying to devour him and add his power to, to it. And make it a puppet of its, of its um, will. So, in Alan Control, Alan Wake was still trying to get out. That was his latest attempt to escape the Dark Place. And this is his first attempt. His first attempt to actively use the reality-manipulating powers of the Dark Place and create an escape for himself. Now, of course, spoiler, if you've seen Control, you know he doesn't get out. But let's find out what happens at that point. Now, the main protagonist is going to be, of course, yet another evil clone of Alan, because I think this is the third... So this is the second of three, because we'll come to a third one in Control as well. This is the second one known as Mr. Scratch. The first one was known as Dark Alan and showed up as the antagonist in the Signal and the Writer DLC for, for uh, Alan Wake. So let's get in. The game will explain itself as we go on, especially if I manage to find the manuscript pages. Hey, remember that, guys? That explained everything else. But let's dive into the story, shall we? Uh, start new story. Yeah, normal. Yeah, we're doing normal. Ah, Arizona. Okay, to, okay, Old Gods of Asgard, the in-universe band. And cheap hotel room. Barry Wheeler. Oh, bestest friend. Who's still wearing the same outfit. Seriously, dude, it's been years. Okay, the Twilight Zone equivalent. The man before you is a champion of light. He is part of a conflict between darkness and light that is both ancient and eternal. Uh-huh. He is chasing a dangerous quarry, the Herald of Darkness. Now the hotel. <laughs> His evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch. Also Narla Hotep. <laughs> I'll catch you eventually! Maybe. But what are you gonna do then? By then I'll have had my hands on everything you love. Wedding ring. That's what the primary conflict is about, by the way. 
always been about Alice. His wife, if you don't know, don't remember. Okay, game mode. The man has been brutally spat out from the darkness that surrounds the shores of our reality. He has come to fight a decisive battle in Night Springs. All right, we got a lot to unpack, so let's do so. First of all, we are several years after the events of Alan Wake. As you notice, Barry has started... Look, I get it, okay? Hey, right, see, we got this. We got this. Yeah, you're going to see me die a lot in the beginning because I kind of um, have a harsh learning curve in the beginning. Anyways, so, right. The deal is, is that um, he's been in the dark place and he's been trying to not use the reality-altering powers. However, his doppelganger, Mr. Scratch, is capable of leaving the dark space, dark area, dark world, whatever you want to call it, the void. Let's call it that since I'm doing that in control. He'll be able to leave the void and enter this world briefly. And, of course, he's been doing bad things as he's a representation of the dark forces. Because remember, the Dark Forces at the end of Alan Wake said they would find another face. Now, we're supposed to mean that as Alan, as, um, let's see, Agent Nightingale, who's this parody of uh, Max from uh, the earlier Remedy games, if you recall, Max Payne, um, what he would really be like in the real world, which is relatively unpleasant corrupt cop. But that was apparently a fictional character, so it fell apart on the Dark's Dark couldn't hold it together because it was just a contract Alan had created for the original plot. Because remember, the entire thing was written by Alan. Yeah, we're getting a little tangled here, I know. So right now it's trying to take Alan's face. So this is the conflict between Alan and... Okay, let's get this right. Okay, now if you remember the primary uh, combat thing is we ever, all of our enemies are going to be surrounded by a halo of darkness. And because of that, we have to burn off that halo with the... Uh, Thing. Okay, we can't go diving in the water. Got it. Okay, so we got to find our way through here. Okay, so it's... Oh, hi, I remember you. Doppelganger. No, no, poltergeist, not doppelganger. Doppelganger's Mr. Scratch, right? It'll create barriers like this, so we have to use our light. Then we have to boost our light using such. And that disintegrates the matter. Anybody who's lighted and then killed is also disintegrated as they no longer exist within a reality having been consumed by the darkness. Okay, grab the gun. That's usually a good idea. Oh, look. You glow, too. 9mm. What do we got? 10 rounds in the chamber? Oh, hi there. I remember your kind. Oh, hi. Pretty much. Okay, we can do this. I'll get the hang of it again. Now, if you would see that little arrow. Alright, reload. It's still R. How do you reload? Not for crying out loud. How do you reload? Uh, help options. You don't. You're not going to tell me, are you? Do we have controls here? Yeah, we have controls. Uh, and key bindings. Uh, reload. Reload is R. I've been hitting. Oh, you've been disabling my R. That just sucks. Sorry about that. Quick. No. Now you're letting me do it. Don't ask me. I just hope this game doesn't bug out on me. So we have no batteries, which is bad. Mm-hmm. In another life. The man was a writer. He still practices that art, forging weapons of war out of ideas. But the violent currents that brought him here have scattered the pages he has written. Why is there a rocking horse here? Okay, we're going to get surreal, aren't we? Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah, the... Speaking of said things, let's get the manuscript pages. We all remember this, don't we? All right, F5. Alan Wake, the writer. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. I didn't become one overnight. Like most writers, I struggled with it. A short story here, an article there. Then I got lucky and spent a year as a staff writer on the Night Springs TV show. It wasn't the great American novel of my fantasies, but it taught me discipline and craft, and the difference between wanting to be a writer and actually writing. Okay, so you know what? Listen to that, by the way. If you actually ever want to be a writer or another artist, 
Yeah, whatever your fantasy is about how it's going to work. Rest stop? I don't know. Whatever your fantasy is about how it's going to work, um, it's not. Basically, it's going to be a lot of you doing a lot of grinding. And yes, by the way, do some commercial work first. Get it down. Get it right. All right, all right. You know me. I'm always checking out everything. Okay, we've got nothing interactable here. Hmm. Keep away from that. Just have an idea, image. Okay, nothing over here. Right, can we move this? Yep. We're gonna have. Oh, I could ride it. Actually, that was cool. All right, all right. Um. Never supposed to go where the light is over here. The lights of the motel promise safety. The man senses that the solution to his predicament begins there. Thank you, Mr. Omniscient um, Narrator. Gods. Thank you, Rod Serling. We'll just call him Rod Serling. We know this is... Essentially, he's rewritten his reality into a Twilight Zone slash Night Springs episode. Somewhere within the Earth, space itself has been pierced, and from dark depths runs a steady flow of monsters. The man recognizes the hand of his evil double in this. He knows he must put an end to this madness. What the heck? Oh my god, Exxon's evil. Whoa! Am I thinking? I think I'm gonna leave. <laughs> right, there is Hesse. Yeah, that sounds good. I did to me. What's, um, hold on. <laughs> Before we get started on this, I'm gonna get killed multiple times. Let's talk about uh, the controls. What's run again? Run is sprint shift. Thank you. Makes me dodge automatically, too. Yeah. Well, okay, it was about to tell me that, but I... Uh, well, I don't plan on it, do you? Okay, you're not lit, which is bad. But there is my checkpoint. If you recall, all the lights tended to be the checkpoints for uh, saving and recovering our life force, which is what we're doing right now. Now, I don't even have enough bullets. Yep, there we go. Heal. Okay, out of batteries. Okie dokie. Right then. We're cool? We're all cool now? I guess I'll be staying on this side for a while. But there appears to be a glowy box here. Weapon crates are finding hidden manuscript pages and blaster and use a serious firepower. Okay. Oh, I need three manuscript pages to do it. Okay, which means I need to go hunting. Or I cost us to come back here later. Let's do a clean sweep of the area, shall we? Some areas that we can do anyways. There's a diner section over there, but it looks like it's a heck of a ride. And anywhere out of the light, we're potentially problematic. But we must find those extra thingy majiggies. Now I I kind of think the AI is gonna punish me soon for doing this. <laughs> no idea how much progress we're gonna be able to make this episode. Yeah, and if they keep voting for it monthly, we'll be continuing on a monthly series. Okay, nothing back here. Anything back here? No batteries, no manuscripts. Ish, this place is barren. No, well, it's desert. All right, all right. let's, uh... Cicadas, I think. I don't know if any of you are actually from desert climate and in the, uh... In the area, so to speak, in this continent, please, by all means, let me know. I see a glowy something right there. I think that's a manuscript page. At first, before we zip past it, if the sound. Oh gods, these again. Um, do I have to shoot those again? I'm not doing that without. Oh hell, this isn't gonna be good. Oh no. Is this on? How can you tell? I'm sorry, I'm not very good with gadgets. Yeah. <sighs> That's more like it. Oh, God. I'm just going to say this. Apparently, he's a uh, YouTuber as well. I'll be right with you. I just got to do this one thing. Oh, no. Smart Alex serial killer. I expect more from my evil double. In vain. I bet you're wondering why this is happening. Why am I doing all this? Why am I so hell bent on ruining your life? Because mm. you're badly written. You're crapping my style. 
You've got money, fame, everything you could want. But you don't know what to do with it. I do. I'm getting all the things you never had the balls to go for. Having more fun, too. Uh huh. Do you know the real difference between us? I'm not afraid to be the center of attention. Oh God, a narcissistic psychopath. It's not like we don't have enough of these in the human race. Flops just collateral damage, really. I mean, made some information out of them earlier, but this part, this is just for kicks. <laughs> I'm betting it's Sam Lake under there. Just because Sam really likes to be in his own work. I don't blame him. The man's a pretty good writer. You can't kill someone like that so dude. Quiet. It takes five minutes to strangle a person. They're faking it. Hopefully they escaped. We all know they didn't. In case I, yeah, I saw this over here. All right, so let's grab this. I have to get from the other side, don't I? Because if I can get those three, I'll be happy. Dare. Five. All right, pages and instincts. I know that when I arrive, the clarity of vision I have now may disappear. I've made my plans. I prepared for this, but I know the transition from the dark place will be hard on me, and not just physically. It may affect my mind, my memory. These pages should help me remember and focus. That's worked for me before. Even if that fails, I think I will be able to trust my instincts. I'm navigating my own story. I'm hoping I'll know where to go and what to do, even if the details elude me. Right then. Okay, so that's basically the plan. He created the story, but like with Alan Wake, by putting making himself a character within it, he's limited his actual personal freedoms. So he's got to, and he's also cannot remember the entirety of his. He's not the writer anymore. He's the character. He's the character of Alan Wake. He is not actually Alan Wake. This is a manifestation of Alan Wake. Not the full entirety of it, and I do see more stuff over here. Excellent. Always, always check around. All right, what do we got? Oh, can't wait to get the shotgun itself. Oh, some ammo. It's lovely. Some more ammo. That's awesome. And the flare gun. All right, let's... God, how do we switch between weapons again? Because I am not accidentally firing my own... My only round with that. Ugh, gods. Options, controls, key bindings, switch weapons. I should know this. I should have done some... Okay, so boost, focus, show manuscript, select. Okay, one, two, and three. Go back to the pistol. Ooh, we got a lot of weapons. Well, three. Okay, so one, one through five. Standard rules for uh, Doom weapons here. Okay. There we go. All right, so you're full on the... You have full four clips. We got to check out, see if we got anything else around here. Anything else? Oh, there's a radio around here somewhere. I, I'm betting that's going to lead me to my next encounter. But as we know, in video games, you never want to do progress too quickly. And we can't cross the street, so I'm thinking. Can we open these? Ah, but we can try. There we go. Don't know. Any one of these could have something useful. Let's check out and see if we got anything else over here around the corner. Yep. Uh, ooh. Keep that in mind if I have to use that, but there's another spot over here, which has a light for security purposes. Uh, hopefully I'm not too close to that thing that I'm going to start getting uh, hits on my, uh, kind of my monetization. All right, so yeah, most of this is definitely going to be... All right, dude, is this thing anything in here? Darn it, no. No, no nothing important. Yes, I know, I'm not progressing the plot. We've gone full circle at this point. Let's head inside, as we're supposed to be doing. Okay, there's a radio over there. Give this a try first. Of course, it's a motel. Everything's... Cola! Koopa Cola. The uh, fellow Linkara fans out there. Well, here you are. About to enjoy hey, Pat! Oh, Eddie. The host with the boast. Hey, any of you guys remember Old Gods of Asgard? <laughs> Man, I actually saw them twice back in the 70s. I was just a kid then, but my dad worked at this club, and he'd sneak me in to see bands all the time. You know how it was. 
Talk about an education. Anyway, great band, a couple of great albums, solid fan base, and then they kind of dropped off the face of the earth. That was because they were attacked by the Dark Presence. Later, they're making a comeback. And let me tell you, these boys have seen a lot of road. They're some serious rock and roll veterans, because they weren't too young even back in the day. Well, now I've got Odin and Tor Anderson, two of the original old gods, in the studio with me, along with their manager, Barry Wheeler. Nice to have you guys here. Oh, hey, great to be here, Eddie. Oh, I miss him. Now, boys, let me just come around and say this, all right? Spring chickens, you ain't. <laughs> the 70s. <laughs> you, guys, you make the stones look young. <laughs> You're only as old as you feel. <laughs> Who you calling? Mm. <laughs> now, your last album was 1978, In the Valley of My Shadow. Mm -hmm. You stopped playing all together after that. Why? And, and what made you do a comeback after all this time? Well, <laughs> it was a sad thing. See, the original bass player for Old Gods, Fat Bob Balder, passed away in... Leukemia! Oh, Bob had leukemia, poor bastard. Yeah, after that, we didn't feel like playing no more. Long story short, I ran into these guys up in Washington, and it was obvious to me that they still got it. So I figured, hey, let's make some music, right? And they went for it. Now, Barry, you were a literary agent before. Ones, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah, and you were very successful. You represented Alan Wake, I believe, who disappeared under mysterious... Yeah, yeah, yeah that's... Uh, hey, I just want to talk about old gods tonight. Is that cool? Can we do that? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Listen, why don't we take a little break, and then later on in the program, we'll hear the new Old God single. Stay tuned, folks. All right, then. At least Barry landed on his feet. He did. But the thing is, we also know from the future in the control that they only had two performances in that thing before the a before Barry realized he was killing the the uh, Old Gods because they are in their 70s. Yeah, you see, the magic allowed them to perform because they had the same ma creative magic that Alan has with music as Alan has with words, although much less powerful. So every time they invoked that, yeah, they, they could pull it off. They could do a hell of a lot. But the problem is, is that it took a toll on them each time. And of course, all the partying, because these guys wouldn't stop partying, it was doing as well. And they um, very quietly used the proceeds from the concerts to buy them a personal retirement home. So instead of that hellhole, they were stuck in with uh, the good doctor, Emil Hartman. Oh, God. I'm glad I shot him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Oh, flares. All right. So just to remind me, I think a flare is a three, but just in case, let's make sure. We don't want to do anything we want to re might regret. Okay, yeah. Flare is a four. Good to know. And flashbang grenades are five. Light is a weapon against these guys. Do you always remember that? So yeah, as you can see, ticking the extra time did pay off because now we have a. Hmm. I see explosive barrels. Now we have a little bit more than if we were just Whoa. jumping. Oh. Okay. Ooh, this is a full reload, isn't it? All right. All weapons are now full. Probably should have saved that, but we'll get the hang of it. I mean, not this one either. All right, so up in this direction, and then we'll just run off. Hack the plot, shall we? Let's go attack the plot. Oop, I saw something glisten. No, that's just the uh, ammo. That's just a weapon box over there. We have two manuscripts, and they're apparently going to be precious resources. So yeah, let's go talk to this person. Hey, it's you. You remember me, right? Emma? Emma Sloan? I think you might have something that belongs to Meg. Really? A typewritten page? Oh, yeah, that's weird. I, I did find a page like that. I don't even know where it came from. It was all this weird stuff about the oil derrick and a satellite. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, Never mind the gun. I don't know how you knew I had it, but I, I guess it's yours. Listen, what's this all about? There are these really creepy guys hanging around the oil derricks. There's something really weird about them. They're dangerous. I'm going to deal with them. Try to stay out of their sight, okay? And stay in the light. They hate the light. Okay. Well, we haven't actually met before. Remember, she actually, first of all, F5, she actually, um, the reality, the satellite, hasn't met Scratch. Remember, we look the same. We are the same person. At the oil derrick, the wheel had been jammed in place and turned until the oil gurgled and flowed thick and flammable. 
The warning lights were blinking in a fast rhythm, bright and steady, powered by the battery. The Kasabian CD was playing in the boombox, all distorted guitars and intense beat. High above, some piece of orbital junk or another collided with the satellite, knocking it radically off course. Trailing debris, it screamed down from the skies at an impossibly steep angle. All that high-tech engineering reduced to nothing more than a bullet that would destroy whatever it hit. All right, so apparently you decided to get a little aggressive with the reality alterations, Alan. I'm impressed. But first, let's talk. Just to be clear, you should know that we haven't actually met before. Sure we have, Mr. Wake. Remember you stayed at the motel here. No, the guy you're talking about just looks like me, even if he uses my name. He's behind all this trouble. Oh, I thought, um, now that you mention it, I guess your aura looks a lot nicer than his, actually. I'm very sensitive to things like that. Right. There's a bunch of stuff I need to find. The things mentioned on that page? Well, there's a lot of old crap lying around this place. Great, thanks. I think you should be able to find everything, except the satellite, obviously. Are you going to tell me what this is? I don't think that'd go over too well. Why don't you let me be the judge of that? Fine. The page is a formula for rewriting reality. Either I use it to close a strange portal to a place that isn't in our world, or shadowy serial killer monster things keep pouring out of there. Yeah, you were right the first time. You can think what you want about me, but there's still bad guys around. Be careful. Well, you might be nuts, but I've seen the way they move, the way they look. I'll buy that. They're called Taken. They aren't really human. Not anymore. And they're climbing out of the oil well? What, do they have secret headquarters down there, or...? No, that's just where the point of connection is. It's a hole that leads to... Well, it's a really nasty place. That's why I need to close it. And the guy who looks like you opened it. Because he was hanging around the oil field before. He gets around, unfortunately. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I wish I thought you were just a nutcase. Actually, I kind of expected you to. Me too. But I feel like this is how it's supposed to go. Isn't that weird? Not really. I get that a lot in my line of work. What do you do anyway? I'm a writer. Obviously. What was that you said about my aura? Oh... I'm very spiritual, you know. I can see auras, but I only use it for healing and helping people. I'm like a wise woman, you know? I give people insight and advice. Look, just because I say crazy things doesn't mean I believe everything. Don't be like that. Maybe you should take a few crystals with you if you're going out there. It might be dangerous. They soothe your energies and focus your mind. It's fantastic. And they help me take out the bad guys? Oh, well, no, not as such. Yeah, okay, I think I'm... Or I have some wonderfully potent herbal detox suppositories. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Okay, this is a bit of a drag on um, New Agers and such, but yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. The nail gun? What the hell's this? Well, it leaves the pistol in place anyways. The, um, give it a whirl. I think we'll go with the pistol. All right, so we've got more ammo for it anyways, but we know where to find it if we want to want to trade off. We also have three manuscript pages now, of course, which have paid off for going to the uh, the place, so we can grab the SMG, which is exactly what I'm going to do because I feel like things are going to start. Um... The champion of life oh God. recognizes the page he got from the woman. It is a weapon of his own design, custom engineered to destroy the dark portal. If he recreates the conditions of the page, a great power will be unleashed. Yes, you created the narrator to tell him what to do. This is delightful, actually. All right, so let's... Ooh, snakeskin? No, I just burned. Okay, let's switch over. I guess it's about time I went full auto. Okay, let's do this. Fuck the nail gun. We have a, um... Looks like a micro Uzi. Okay, it's a little better. All right, all right. This is a checkpoint, I believe. We need to find the three items of reality... Re altering reality. A CD... Okay, and what else? See something glowing over there. Glowing is usually good. Start with that. It's going to be a CD. A mini map at the top left shows your current objectives. Location and box and safe hands are shown as icons. Blinking question mark includes hidden manuscript nearby. Excellent. That is a manuscript over there, but I guarantee you we're going to be fighting somebody before we get there. Anything here? 
Okay, you go down on me. Great. I sense bait. Really do here. That's why I saved. As best I can save. Hang on. Pop up. And let's put this into pause mode before I do. The devil's in the details. To change reality, you nudge it into the right direction. Your version of it is there, waiting. It wants to come true. All you need to do is help it achieve its potential. The devil is in the details. You change the details of the scene to match those on the page. If you get the details right, if you achieve that critical mass, the shift will come, and the rest of your new reality overrides the existing paradigm. The lie, no matter how outrageous, is now the truth. Reality alterations. Now, if you remember, this is the control universe, too. So we are currently using Eldritch Abomination energy to get what we want. Yeah, I don't feel like this is a safe place to go. So let's head off this direction. Search what we can. Okay, we're probably getting into more dangerous territory, but... Checkpoint reached. Excellent, excellent. Which means if I die, I only go back this far. Yep, there's another one over there. Okay, cool. The enemy tears itself in two to avoid the hated light. Oh, great. It's weaker, but more numerous. Such as the arithmetic of horror. Oh, my God. Oh, gods. Well, that happened. Okay, so yeah, nice ambush. Good points on you guys. Didn't pull off for you in the end, though. Okay, well, let's check out. Do you leave me anything good? God, you've been sitting around in this bare house the whole time. That's just depressing. Okay, so just doing a quick search, making sure there's nobody else to surprise me. Of course, you can always come to that door. All right, pick up some more submachine gun ammo and reload. Oops, sounds a bit off. Hold on. I've lost audio. Stand by, please. Okay, so I think I've got that restored backwards. Okay, so let's get the rifle. Something tells me I'm really going to need the extra firepower. Right, then. Ooh. That's interesting. Oh, that's good. However, let's go with this. And whatever this is. CD. That's one thing down. All right, so I guess we're going back out this way. Okay, so that's one successful run here. Okay, who's next? Okay, definitely that. Where's the ambush going to come from? Probably over here on my right. Alright, another one down. Another un potential unlock. Okay, we're writing reality. The reality we take for granted is softer. More adaptable than we think. Under correct conditions, you can reshape it. Turn it into almost anything you want. When it happens, almost nobody notices. It's not that we forget... It's that after the change, there's nothing to remember. Only those who have been directly touched by the powers that can shift reality are aware of the changes. Many are driven mad by it. Others can cope. I'm one of those people. And I know how to wield that power to rewrite reality. Unfortunately, your future tells me otherwise, Alan, because you come virtually... In, you come off as a complete madman in control. Okay... Just uh, take a quick look around, make sure there's nothing else we might be missing here. This is the other half of those doors we couldn't open. All right, all right. Anything else we want to check out while we're here? Anything glowing? All right. We have a. Ch we have a. Ch I forgot. We have a checkpoint. Do we have a? And I mean, we've got the stars on the uh, mini map over here to tell me where my objectives are, which is going to make things a little easier, and probably a lot easier on you guys when watching me wander around. But we've managed to find a bunch of stuff by the wandering around. Eh, boom, I knew I could do that. All right, cool. Let's checkpoint this baby. Looks like this thing recharges after a while. All right, it's basically I absorb some of its energy, but then it recovers. All right, pick up flare. Excellent. Now we have even more flares. Those are basically give us a zone of control, as it were. All right, cool, cool. Let's not go in between those two. It's a great place to get boxed in and have your, uh, get ambushed. I mean, this is bad enough. Let's go around. Yeah, I'm teaching you basic tactics for 
dealing with potential ambush sites. So yeah, always avoid places where they try to pinch you in, basically, like a road, for example. I mean, with the current conflict in Ukraine, the Russian invasion in Ukraine, for example, really, if you're paying attention to the uh, on-sit guys, they're really something, okay, I should pay attention to what's going on. Where are you? All right, there we go. Uh-oh. Single shots. Be efficient. We're not being pressed. See, there we go. Don't want to waste ammo. There we go. And reload. Okay, so yeah, that sound apparently is a teleportation. And I have another manuscript page. Let's get it. At five now? Six. The splinter. The splitter. Some taken aren't protected by the darkness like their comrades. Instead, their aversion to light is so extreme that they literally split into two when they encounter strong light. It leaves the two halves weaker. But of course, there's strength in numbers. It's a disturbing development. The dark presence I faced two years ago was powerful, but it didn't have much in the way of imagination. Clearly, the same cannot be said of Mr. Okay, apparently we can't say his name, but yeah, uh, missing page, missing page. Ooh, we do see, we can see the name of them, of the ones we're missing. All right, so yeah, six down. Again, we have to be careful about this. Of course, we need to find... If we'd gone through here, we'd have probably gotten pretty well wet, bushwhacked. There it is. Find the fun. Just one more to go. Well, follow the star. Use this for a checkpoint and a quick heal. Also, to go see if the uh, ammo thing resets, that would be kind of nice. Yeah, I do like the checkpoint thing going on here because that makes it less likely we're going to be um, going to be um, wandering around mainlessly. Let's uh, it does restock. Excellent. I wonder what the rifle looks like. Still only 30 rounds. Oh, eight rounds. Okay. Still, I prefer to have this. I mean, we're dealing with light stuff for the moment. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, light and darkness. Remember, this is a control universe, and these are creatures of the void, which means that they're literally... Uh, that's not good. All right, cool. You know what we're going to do? Oh god, I told you to use the... Uh. It's okay, I don't need to use a battery for him. Headshot. Good, 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 good. That's good. Anyways, we need to figure out how we're going to be using flares. That's everything. Right, sure. Man has found the battery, but it is empty. It will need to be recharged. Well, of course it is. I'll talk to Emma. She is running a garage, after all. Can we get in here? No. Betting it happens later. Now, there's our objective over there. Talk to Emma. Question marks or for manuscript pages, but you know me, I'm always poking around. Might get ambushed as a result about this, but I'm willing to live with that possibility. Good amount of ammo, though. I gotta admit that. All right, right. Head up this way. Quick scope around this area. Ah, that's warning us that we're at barrier. Now, remember, the only reason we are actually in this, in our physical reality is we've overlapped it with the dark space. The problem is, since we are technically still part of the dark place, we can only exist within... Oh, yeah, we should probably heal it up. We only can resist and we can only can exist within the dark places overlap. If we try to go over there, we start to disintegrate. I'll be back. I'm sure there's something down there, but I want to be at full health. 
There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. It's kind of strange. We require darkness, but... What do we got here? What do we have here? Oh my god, the Magnum. We're so short. We're short. We can't... Ugh. It's a checkpoint here. Great. Okay, anything else for them in this section? Probably not. I really should go back to the main plot. Or, you know, the cars start coming alive on me again. Because that was a bad thing that happened. Uh-huh. See? Oh, I can go over them. I probably shouldn't. Oh, wait, I can jump. That's awesome. But it's probably nothing down here. But you know me. You know me. Always poking around. Hmm. I mean, we've already gotten three manuscript pages and some extra ammo for that. For my uh, curiosity. Uh, but I don't see anything for no reward for it this time. All right, let's go talk to Emma. Oh, coyotes. I'm actually, I don't find coyotes that much of a problem. I, I prefer wolves, of course, but coyotes are cool. Trickster gods. Um... Trickster God Coyote, or Trickster Spirit, or whatever you want to call it, since it's more of a indigenous belief than an actual. Yeah, the game's telling me I'm screwing around too much. Oh, there you are. You know what? Screw it. I'm not wasting the ammo. You can't follow me here. Too much light. Seriously, that you, they can now. Probably should be using batteries more often. Let's talk to him about recharging the battery. This battery charged. No problem. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen exactly when I do this. My memory's a little hazy. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is you don't want to come anywhere near the oil field, all right? Because then you get out of hand. In the middle of highly flammable materials. Great. I'll do my best to contain it. Just... Please don't turn out to be some kind of crazy terrorist guy, okay? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Wait a sec, I want to ask you about something first. What did you mean with that my memory's a little hazy thing? I had a pretty rough time coming here. It was like being caught in a tsunami. I blacked out for a while. It's hard to explain. There's a, a barrier of sorts that I had to break through. I was lucky to make it here with my wits as intact as they are. So, you might have brain damage, you're about to do great things with a magic piece of paper, and you came here from another dimension? No, I'm from New York. I, I was just visiting another dimension. Oh, yeah, okay. My bad. I like her. Okay, so we gotta figure out how flares work here. Huh. Right ahead of you on that one. Okay, then we might want to go a little heavier this time. All right, then. Objectives. He has objectives. Let's, let's check out that glowy stuff over there first, shall we? Totally not a trap. I'm kind of hoping to get a better flashlight, too. These blow up? I hope they do. All right, so we want the shotgun or the rifle. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We need the subgun and we're off sway up. Do we want the carbine or the pump action? Pump action is nice in that it um doesn't do a bit of a knockback, but look at this. Hmm. Good thought. We might we'll give this a try. If it becomes a real issue and get killed a lot, then we'll deal with it. But over here. Okay, great. Okay. Ah, 
Kind of okay with the rifle. good all right so yeah oh look no we're not going with the revolver kind of liking my current setup might stick with it okay so we gotta go up that direction just keeping an eye out for anything that looks glowy freaking right there there it is manuscript page don't forget the full 10 though Magnum might be worth going back to if we wanted to do that. Yeah, probably wasting time, but let's go. Hunting Mr. Scratch. Mr. is a twisted copy of me. Powerful and dangerous. But I know I can fight him. I don't think anybody else can. They don't understand what he is, what he represents, or that all the horrible things he does here are almost insignificant compared to what he will unleash on Earth given the chance. But I've survived the dark place, and it has taught me things. How to cope, how to stay sane when the world goes crazy. He's two steps ahead of me, but I can find him, and I believe I can stop him. I believe we can too, since you read the script. But yeah, one, two, three, seven. Three more, and we get the Magnum, which I assume is a really good upgrade. Considering how many pages I have to go through to get it. Well, cool. Back up here. Probably check just in case. Anything glowy in this direction. Check out the car. Then we'll go back the way we're supposed to. Hey, look, it's a cop car. Okay, cool. We're having deputy taken again, aren't we? All right, so yeah. Nothing good here. Let's just head up. Keep our stamina meter uh, relatively filled. Okay, so nothing else up here. Can we just get through this? Yeah, cool, great. More stuff, which means I'm about to be ambushed again. Okay, carbine rifle. Okay, we don't actually have a full complement at this point. We do have a full of submachine gun ammo, so we'll keep that for the moment. Okay, so cool. Switch to the right weapon. Don't use light on these guys. Where are you going, dude? Get over here. Seriously, guys? That was your best game, huh? Sure. We'll go with that. 120, which is good, 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 good. Time to make some serious changes. I think I know what we're doing. Let's go find the CD player. The manuscript check manuscript lets us check to see what we need to do here, but we already know what to do. We play the CD. And we need the warning lights, wherever they are. Ah, good stars will tell us. Stars are right, fronts. Ah, this thing I saw before. Hopefully we're far enough away so we're not going to be having that, uh... Excellent. Switch the warning lights on. And the last one is in this direction. Place the valve. Start the oil flow. Oh, we're doing this again. Probably should get clear. Alright, there goes the money. Impressed. Yeah, why? Do let's get out of here. 
I'm impressed, Alan. No people would just, you know, do something about knock out the whole thing, collapse it a bit, but you blew everything up, and I'm impressed. Oh my god. Oh, that happened. Jeez. Oh, I wonder if there's anything over here we, that's new we can collect. Oh, well, this has got lights on. Can we actually drive it? No, we can't. I am so sad about that. Anyways, let's see. Uh, don't need this submachine gun ammo. I think we're good for the moment. I think we're good. Dead enough damage. Let's go talk to Emma. I'm probably going to end the episode there as we're getting on to an hour. But yeah, we just blew up. Ugh, looks Russian. Did we knock down Sputnik? That would be cool, cool. Don't think oh, Sputnik's still out there. Oh, no. Ah, uh, for crying out loud. Some more space here. Yeah, but... Be careful, using up too much ammo. And boom, we are done. That slow-mo at the end lets you know. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh boy. No, a big guy. Oh boy, that was fun. That was real fun. Reload. Reload. Thank God you wrote those into the plot, Valen. What the hell was that? Easy. I got him. You're safe. I need you to tell me what you know about him. The guy who looks like me. He... There was a there was a party in one of the rooms. It, it was pretty wild. I am um, I'm not sure which room it was in. You didn't attend. I no, I wasn't there. But it got way out of hand. Anyway, I I heard that he went to the diner and there was a fight there or something. Maybe you could find out more from there. I I, I got some keys that you could maybe use. You just happen to have the keys, huh? Fine. I'll take a look. Stay here. Like hell. I'm getting out of here as soon as you leave so I could close up this place and go home. Emma, you really want to stay here in the light. Yeah, thanks for the advice, but I'm not sticking around. Just go already, okay? Are you okay? I guess. Thanks for the help. Were those the... what do you call them? The Taken? What are they? It's complicated. Short version, the darkness can take people over. That's why I had to destroy the oil derrick. Otherwise, they would have overrun the place. Oh, I didn't think you'd actually do it. I mean, I didn't think it'd work. That's crazy. Let me just try one more time at the risk of sounding like a broken record. It's bad out there. I don't want you hurt. You should stay put. Yeah, while well, you turn this place into an inferno, run around shooting things up and play some kind of weird games with your psycho evil twin. Don't get me wrong. You're, you're nice for a weirdo. I'm impressed as hell by all of this, but enough is enough. I seriously just want to get out of here, okay? Okie doke. Well, she's not. Well, she's not wrong about that. It's best to leave. Anyways, I think we'll end the episode here. We'll be exploring the diner next, of course, and grabbing whatever we can along the way, manuscript and weapon wise. I'm still looking for three more pages to get that magnum because I think that's probably gonna be pretty sweet. Anyways, this is Fantastic World. Saying farewell from Lovecraft Country and supporter enabled episode of Alan Wake's American Nightmare, the interquel between Alan Wake and Control. And as you can see, it's kind of got an element of two of them, of both the things, both of the altered world events and we're all currently have created. You, the Alan's control, the partial control of the dark energies of the dark place, of course, a.k.a. the Void, which 
dear gods, are we actually going to be doing a lore episode for this? Because I can do that. Yeah, I can, in fact, try to explain all this uh, through the lens of Gnosticism, if anybody else is actually interested in that. In any case, if you like this, like, share, subscribe. Give me a comment down below if you want me to try to break down the lore of how this fits into both Alan Wake and uh, Control. And if you're like what I do, down below, links to the Gumward payment platform. Nice clipping, by the way, Alan. Uh, and you can become a supporter, gain access to additional material, and of course, enable additional episodes like this that you, of course, can help vote upon. Anyways, I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to thank my Acolyte level supporters whose contributions help this channel grow and hastens the inevitable digital apocalypse and rise to the dark lords of content and data.